Hey there, football fans. Exciting news coming out of Manchester United as they continue to make moves in reshaping their football department. After securing Manchester City's chief football operations manager, Omar Barada, it seems they have their sights set on Southampton's Jason Wilcox, with the recent acquisition of minority owner Inos, led by CEO Sir Jim Ratcliffe, Manchester United is determined to transform the club after a period of decline. In support of Barada, Ineos is allowing him to make key appointments to important positions within the football department. Conversations have already taken place with Jason Wilcox, the director of football at Southampton. Wilcox has a strong connection with Barada, having previously worked together at Manchester City as the academy director. His expertise in developing young talent, including the likes of Phil Foden, Rico Lewis, and Cole Palmer, has earned him high praise. In addition to Wilcox, United is also eyeing Dan Ashworth as the sporting director. Ashworth currently holds a similar position at Newcastle, and his appointment would require significant compensation. However, Ineos and Barada are keen on bringing him on board due to his impressive track record. The prospect of being part of a new era at Manchester United under Ineos is undoubtedly enticing for both Ashworth and Wilcox. If Wilcox is lured back to Manchester, he would report directly to the sporting director, working closely with Barada and the rest of the management team. Exciting times lie ahead for Manchester United as they continue to make strategic moves in their quest for success. With the imminent confirmation of Ineo's 25% stake in the club, along with the addition of CEO Claude Blanc and Director of Sports Sir Dave Brailsford to the board, the future is looking bright for the Red Devils. Stay tuned for more updates on this developing story, and let us know in the comments what you think of these potential appointments. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for all the latest football news. Until next time, keep kicking it on the pitch.